Well, Imperial Tudor, sir, said one of the knaves, still pretending to work. Have you been shocked into silence by the beauty of our work? Oh, very much so. Truly excellent, replied the old man, looking at the loom through his spectacles. Come on, thought the tutor to himself. You can do this. Pretend you can see, old man. In for a penny, in for a pound. Ah, uh, yes, this pattern, and the colors. Yes, I will tell the emperor, without delay, how very beautiful I think your work to be. We shall be much obliged to you, said the impostors. And then they named the different colors and described the pattern of the pretended stuff. The old minister listened attentively to their words so that he might repeat them to the emperor verbatim. And when the knaves asked for more silk and gold, saying that it was necessary to complete what they had begun, the minister agreed without a second thought. That very day the materials were delivered and promptly stored in the weavers' knapsacks, after which the weavers continued to work with as much apparent diligence as before at their empty loom.